Hey guys, welcome back. Here at my home place at the Lake of Constance, I spent the last weeks the preparation for a Hamburg Marathon race. And in this nice area, I can really focus. And of course, the recovery and the relaxing time is the best at home. And yet today, I'm going for a long run at 30K. Of course, you think about the yeah, marathon is longer than uh, 30k. Um, I will do it a uh, progressive. So I start with 5k in 4.10 pace, increase to 350, go down to 330 pace and 320 pace. And then I have like 5k, I can play a little bit with the pace. So I will go also down to marathon pace, three minutes. And then at the end, I cool down a little bit. Um, so all. Uh, in a row, not changing shoes. So I will take also my Nova Plus 3 for that. Uh, I know that I am comfortable to run also a little bit under three minutes for some kilometer with it. Uh, I also prefer it. Don't run with a too light shoe like the Meta Speed because uh, yeah, 30K in a little bit slower pace at the beginning is not so comfortable for the system. And it makes you more tired afterwards. So you stand much more in the front foot than with the other shoes. And yeah, the stability is uh, really, really good in the Nova Plus 3. So that's the reason why I choose, choose that one. Um, the good thing is at the beginning I have some company. So we talked a little bit together um, and discussed it, that I'm not running the old 30K alone. Now we're starting the 30K with my friends, Stefan, Fabio and Elias good and now I also tell you top secret why his nickname is Richie Pace because we always call him Pace because if you run the Richie Pace you're very strong. Let's go. What happened between Barcelona and today uh, five weeks later um, uh, first, I spent two weeks at home and I also increased my mileage. So one week was really good for me. So 195 kilometers and some alternative training in it. That w that's, uh, was the biggest uh, mileage for me. You know me already. I spent a little bit more time in alternative training, but this was a really high mileage week for me. Um, so we focused uh, also the last three weeks when I was in Monte Gordo, when there was much better weather than at home and warmer weather, we spent a little bit more in quality training. I was a little bit more often on the track, so every week once um, to give a good feeling uh, for the marathon pace. Um, yeah, um, for example, I also run a one case in, in 240. It's really completely uh, different pace, but now I feel really, really comfortable uh, in the pace I will run in Hamburg. The 30k today looks not really hard when you see it as one workout, but yesterday I already had a 17k uh, in total. I had a 17k uh, workout. It was a 5k and three times 2k, 1k, 1k. So I'm a bit tired. Uh, when you know last week, I also had the competition at the Nationals in Freiburg. It was a half marathon race in 61.44. And it was a high mileage week. I also did a other hard session where uh, the long one was in total 35k. And it was just on on a Thursday, it was just like five days ago. So a lot of workout in the last days. So I feel not really fresh. I'm tired. Um, so that's the reason why we not plan really, really long runs over 35K. But the 30K is still very important for Hamburg now. It's 1 hour 45 and 1 hour 50. So it's 
so it's really close to the to the full time what I want to run. It's just missing like 15 to 20 minutes. In a group it's much easier than if you're running alone. So at the moment I'm feeling fine but we are at 350 pace. So I guess when it will get 30 seconds faster it will get tougher but it's really nice now with the group to train together. So I'm fine. I'm quite happy that Richard is a bit exhausted today. <laughs> Final 5k for us, so let's pace the boys a bit. <laughs> I'm happy that we are arriving, at least for me, I'm done, but happy with the effort today, so it was great fun with Richie, <laughs> yeah, 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 saving some energy for the second half, yeah, my friends were really kind, they protect me from the wind, so the second half I'm ready now, I'm warm, So now I'm alone, kilometer 16. I have to go now 320 pace. But stupid Richard running 308 pace already. So <laughs> it was a, a really nice to have company because else, of course, it needs much more time mentally to go for the long run. That's also the good thing about the marathon race. You have your pacemakers, you have athletes close to you, so you're not going alone to this heavy race. That's all a good motivation. And yeah, they're not, not all the last la next 5k, I go to 20 pace and then I play a little bit with the pace to marathon pace and then just cool down. So the weather, three till five degrees. Now I begin to sweat, so it's good. <laughs> At the beginning it was a bit cold and windy, but now we, I also go to a bit better surface. It's not a perfect road, but it's a bit more protected from the dam here. But it was a nice view at the lake. And yeah, that's always nice to run in such a nice area. Um, also important that I have some, someone to give me the bottle on the bike. Um, yeah, that I can test also the fueling. 
for the marathon. I, I'm now in the fast who, who is really important to mix uh, the drinks um, to get the energy back, uh, what I left on the road. So I, at the moment, I'm testing also a little bit with caffeine, with carbon hydrates, um, and how much of, of the powder I, I use. Of course, I use uh, for my sport food uh, brand sponsor, the competition, that's my favorite one. Um, but also with the salt um, tubs before and the gel. Um, I'm, I'm using it now every hard workout to get really used to it, so they don't have so much problems in the race. Last one. We are finished with the fast stuff today. Of course, maybe you think it's just 30k and 5k hard, but the week was really busy in training, so I'm really exhausted. And I know in Hamburg I will just do the half of it in that week before I will be really tapering so that I'm really ready for it. Now my muscles are really tight, empty, heavy. So everything what you don't need, but it's actually that what you need for a long run. You don't have to make it too, too long because you are already really tired when you go into it. Now I'm cooling down for 5K. 
Of course, now it's hard to get, run really, really slow. So I guess I will run around 350 pace um, because, yeah, I want to go faster to the car <laughs> at home. <laughs> It was a nice and hard training week. One more hard and tough week ahead. And then I'm really looking forward to the last week with the tapering period to get really ready for Hamburg. Yeah, so now you also have to trust what you trained before. Don't go too hard for the last two weeks. You know you trained a lot and even when you are in the start line, it's the half part. When you are interested how my recovery period looks like, stay tuned.